Hello, this is Yuka from the Jar Bar. I'm going to show you now how we can install Tomcat, uh, which is a web application server. It serves um, your Java based web applications mainly, um, which are typically packaged as web archive files or .war files. Now, Tomcat can be used um, for any other web applications like uh, raw uh, HTML based. Uh, web projects but I'm going to show you now how we can install Tomcat now one of the um, aspects of Tomcat is that it runs on your Java runtime environment so you need to have Java installed in it to, in, to run Tomcat and um, this buys you a layer of abstraction so what this means for someone using a development system similar to mine um, I make use of VirtualBox um, and this allows me to uh, share my Tomcat installation from my guest to my host system because the JRE or the Java runtime environment buys you a layer of abstraction. Now I have Java installed here on my Windows system which is my host uh, system and um, if I try and run the startup command for Tomcat uh, if I just go start up in my command prompt you see I get an error here and I've got Tomcat configured in my um, environment path variable as I'm going to go and show you here I'm going to go to edit environment variables for my account and if I go look at my path and I edit it you'll see that I've got the Tomcat bin directory added here so Tomcat is added to my path which means that all of these <coughs> scripts and files here I'll be able to run from the command prompt. The error message I get here tells me I need an ex ex uh, extra environment variable that tells um, my environment where Tomcat is. So I'm going to go and define a Catalina home environment variable. To do that I'm going to go to the um, address bar here, I'm just going to copy what's in there. I'm going to go back to the environment variables for my account and I'm going to add a new environment variable called Catalina underscore home. Notice it's in uh, uppercase. Paste in what I copied uh, but I don't need the bin and the backslash and just exit from here and I'm going to close the old command prompt to open a new one. If I type up the startup command now, you'll see that I also need a Java home or a JRE home environment variable. This uh, gives evidence that Tomcat uh, runs on the Java runtime environment. Um, any other applications that you see requiring this variable uh, indicate that that application has um, uh, has portability um, attached to it because uh, Tomcat runs on the Java runtime environment we merely need the Java um, uh, installed on our system and this means that we can share the Tomcat installation uh, from our Windows system to a Linux system merely of uh, based on the fact that it requires Java. So as long as we have Java installed on both systems we'll be able to run Tomcat. I'm going to do as requested here. I'm going to um, go and define a Java home environment variable and just going to go to where my Java installation is it's under my drive which has my operating system and it's under program files x86 and it's under Java and I'm um, just going to go into the most recent JDK and this is the value I'm going to use as my Java home so I'm just going to control C it, copy it and I'm going to go to my environment variables again edit my environment variables for the account 
um, go to new Java in capital letters underscore home and paste in what I copied OK and OK it and just going to close the uh, command prompt that's open and I'm going to open a new one now if I type in the startup command again you'll see I get a lot of verbose output and this starts the Tomcat server as you see here and in the command prompt that I use to start the tom Tomcat server you see I get a lot of information telling me where my Catalina home is and where my JRE home is and so forth now I'm going to show you how we get Tomcat onto Linux now one of the options that I've discussed in one of my previous tutorials and um, as I said to you earlier is that we can share our Tomcat installation from Windows to Linux and I'm not going to be doing that for this tutorial today I'm going to show you how we can install um, Tomcat onto Linux the Linux way, the proper method um, for systems unlike mine uh, for instance if you're running a, a Linux system as your only system this is the meth method that you would use so I'm going to log into Ubuntu here which is a, a Linux based system and I'm going to verify with you that I don't have Tomcat installed so I'm going to type in the startup command and you see no command is found or um, in the case of Linux it's actually startup.sh and you see no command found now to get Tomcat firstly I'm going to visit the website for Tomcat now Tomcat is an Apache project so if you go to uh, tomcat.apache.org you'll go to the Tomcat page the project page and while we're here at Apache I'll just show you the other projects um, most of the Apache projects you just type in the name like for example subversion and you just add a dot apache.org and you'll get the subversion page uh, likewise if you want maven and uh, you can go to maven.apache.org you see we get the, the maven page this is just uh, to show you the Apache projects and how you can get to them now going back to the Tomcat here I'm going to go to the download section here I'm going to go to Tomcat 7 which is the most current version of Tomcat and I'm going to go down to the binary distributions I'm going to pick the the tar.gz file which is a tar gun zip it's, this is the um, binary package that is aimed at Linux systems so I'm going to right click it copy the linked location and I'm going to close Mozilla here the next thing I need is I need to make a directory in my terminal here to work in so I'm going to make a directory under my temp directory called work and I'm going to change directory into that well firstly I'm going to create another directory where we're going to um, move our Tomcat installation to so I'm going to create a directory uh, with sudo uh, privileges uh, under user lib servers alright now if I wanted to I could share the Windows servers in VirtualBox to the server servers location that I'm uh, creating here so I typed in the wrong command so it's sudo make directory user live servers so I could share the Tomcat installation from Windows to Ubuntu or to any Linux um, but instead now I'm gonna use the link that I copied earlier firstly I'm going to change directory into the directory that I created to work in the temp work directory you see that I'm in that directory now then I'm going to use the wget command and I'm going to right click and paste what I copied earlier and you see Tomcat is being uh, downloaded 
Alright, so now the, inst the zip file is downloaded and then to unzip it I go tar z for zip extract with the x v for verbose output in other words I'll get output on my screen and we want it unzipped into a file so we specify the f alright then you can use the dot forward slash for your current directory and just hit the tab key on your keyboard and it will fill it in for you and then hit enter and you see we get for both the output uh, this indicates that Tomcat has been unpacked the next move is that we type in with sudo privileges again sudo move um, dot forward slash and your Tomcat uh, install the Tomcat unpacked file which is in your current directory and you move it to your user lib uh, servers directory okay so now we have Tomcat in our user library servers location to prove that I'm going to use the list command on user lib servers you see that Tomcat uh, version 7 update 25 is installed the next move is that we need to link LN and we use the F to force the links um, sorry link with the S symbolically and then the F for the force and then we go to the path of the installation user lib servers and just hit the tab key again and then we want to navigate into the bin directory in Tomcat and we want to um, use so we want to copy or symbolically link all the contents of the bin directory so we use the star or the asterisk and we specify where we want it linked to and that would be user bin which is automatically added to your path environment variable so says permission is denied that's because it's a user uh, directory so we need to run the previous command with sudo and everything is linked now it should be so now if I run up run the start up dot sh from the terminal you'll see that Tomcat has started up on uh, my Linux system to verify this you can type in if you have Firefox configured in your path you can type Firefox HTTP colon forward slash forward slash local host colon and then port 8080 which is where Tomcat runs by default and as you see here Firefox has opened the default Tomcat welcome page which tells you how or, or tells you that Tomcat is installed.